with the well-known sacred legend. Due to a strong belief in Buddhism, and due to the hope to receiving great blessings. This is what attracts a large number of people who visit this mountain peak, including me. And this is Thailand at large. Talking about today, today we're traveling to Jantapuri province and this trip here we're going to travel to Khao Kichagud. That is actually one of the reference that we can see the Buddha's footprints. And the reason we come here is because we want to see the faith of Thai people to their religion which is Buddhism. to drop off our car right here at the parking spot but then we have to change to this four-wheel drive here because we have to go up on the mountain around eight kilometer to be of like the beginning before we're gonna walk up to the top of the mountain as well so now let's go Kaukichikud is only open to the pilgrims for two months of the year. In order to climb this holy mountain to the top, there are many details that you deserve to know. There are, for instance, you are not allowed to drive your own car to the mountain peak because only drivers who are good at directions can take you on the winding route like this one. Along an 8km route is the lush and verdant forests of Kaukichikut National Park. It also has an abundance of forests and wild animals. This is the reason why Kaukichikut is open to the public for only two months so that they can hike to the summit and pray at the Buddha's footprint. That is because the pilgrimage during such time does not cause too much disturbance of pure nature, including rainy season that might pose a threat during the climb to the mountain summit. area is the area the last spot that the vehicle can come up to this phase and we have to walk barefoot up to the top of the mountain actually the background of Prasivali area happened because in the past pilgrim used to have an omen about this Prasivali and Prasivali is actually was the Buddha's disciple in the past and that's why after the pilgrim had this omen he actually created this um, statue around the area to pay respect for and that's why we call the area around here Prasivali is Arahan or an enlightened individual who was honored as an excellent position in manifesting fortune. As a result, some Thai people believe that Prasivali will provide worshippers with luck, fortune, and increasing wealth.
After paying homage to Prasivali, visitors would then start to walk on foot for a distance of approximately 1,200 kilometers up the mountain peak. This is the first lesson that proves how much faith you have expressed in the mountain. After we have actually paid respect to Lance Percy Willie and walked up around 200 meters, you're gonna find this stone here that looks like a Buddha's reclining. And later on, it became a second place that people could remind of Buddha final Barinibana as well. As you can see here along the way, we can also slow down and sit down when you get tired and have to walk up around one kilometer as I said. But you can see during along the way, it's easier to go up there because we have all the stairs orderly. It's not that complicated. And also um, because it's a natural park right here within the nature, you can feel the cool breeze, a nice atmosphere. So it's not even that hot and you can feel really energetic and active to go up and achieve your goal today. So right now, I'm super ready. Let's go! The tradition of hiking up the mountain peak of Kaukichigut has been practiced for a very long time out of a folk belief that climbers will gain high merit in addition to mental endurance under all difficulties. They say walking up on the hills here will take us around one kilometer by foot right here. So actually they say that if you're gonna do something in life to be successful, you have to do three things. First, you have to do it slowly. For example, walking up the mountain because if you walk fast, you'll get tired easier. Or second, you have to slow down with the love and you have to also slow down with studying, like studying slowly, slowly until you achieve it. And that's why I'm single these days. <laughs> But yeah, anyways, we're gonna walk slower so it's not tiring. On the way there will be rest areas where sacred stones of various beliefs are situated. These remind us of our intention for overcoming different types of obstacles by using the power of faith as the driving force behind our body and soul. Right now, we are at the Heaven Store. So to say, it's from nature. Like this, you can see, there's a gap between the two big rocks here, and then there's a stair up there. It's like walking into heaven. So right now, this is actually one of the signs that we're almost there at the Buddha's footprint. Around 100 meters, we're gonna get there. But along the way, it's gonna be like this, really high with a lot of stairs. So now, let's go. Thank you. 
and along the way, as you can see, don't worry because you're gonna have this one here volunteer from uh, the temple that they arrange these drinks for you, like beverage, for example, tea or namatum as well. And this is for free. This is really amazing. So they stand by here like 24 7 here. It's actually volunteer from uh, the temple Wat Gating. This is really amazing that you can see a heart of Thai people that we're helping each other along the way. Of course, in order to climb the mountain of Khao Kichiku to the top, you need to be in a good health condition to some extent because this means walking up on a steep mountain. However, that is not considered an obstacle. Like this, if you're too tired, we also have this service right here where you can sit there or when you get sick also, this is really good. After we have walked past the door of heaven through the stairs here, you're going to see the statue of the great King Taksin. Actually reminding us that in the past, he used to have the base of Jantabri province to be fighting with the enemies and then also create and achieve the Thonburi kingdom as well and became Thailand nowadays. And right next to the Great King Taksin Monument, you can actually walk down around 100 meters. Next is the big cave there that you can walk down. And they believe that it used to be a place where hermit used to do a lot of meditation here. Before reaching the top of the mountain where the Buddha's footprint is enshrined, I have visited this hermit cave. Inside it, many hermit statues can be found. They are believed to possess different kinds of spiritual forces and powers. In the past, there was a safe drinking sacred well in the cave. Local residents believe that it helped gain more relief from an illness, but we can no longer see it today. When paying homage to the Buddha's footprint, most people will visit this cave in the belief that the hermits will bless them with good luck. I'm not going to
Finally, I arrived to the most important spot that Thai people wish to come here to pay respect to the sacred Buddha's footprint once in a lifetime. According to local belief, this Buddha's footprint was found approximately 160 years ago by a group of hunters. The footprint is 1 meter wide, 2 meters long, and 1050 meters above sea level. Moreover, this is the highest Buddha's footprint in Thailand. The tradition has been practiced since the Buddha's footprint was found. During the late January to the early March of every year, people will come to pay homage to the mountaintop Buddha's footprint. Because the ceremony lasts for only two months a year, there is a massive influx of people who simultaneously visit the mountain here during this time. In addition to the Buddha's footprint, traces of Buddha's hands were found on the surrounding stone wall according to Buddhist belief. Nearby, there are also three small stones. They are believed to be the traces of Buddha's blood according to Buddhists. Both Buddha's palm and blood traces were explained to bring them more in line with the legend in the story of Buddha. And another amazing thing here, right beside Buddha's footprint is this big stone here. You can see the shape. They believe that it looks like monk's bowl that belongs to Buddha in the past. And also like this one, there used to be people standing here and over there and they put a string under it and it can go through here, under the stone. So they believe that the stone is actually flowing without touching a uh, floor like right here, which is really incredible as well.
Although I have already paid homage to the Buddha's footprint, the journey on the mountain peak of Kaukichukud is not done yet. I will continue the trip to the end of trail today. And now if we walk further, after the Buddha's footprints, you can walk up here around 200 meters. You're gonna see the red cloth, like lead materials there, where they also for Thai people pay respect to, so we can go up there. Let's go. as if the mountain slope was steeper as we climbed towards the summit in the final stage. Despite very little energy left, I never get this courage because it is my intention to make the most perfect travel today. I'm not tired at all. So actually, if you are sick or if you are weak or you feel too tired, don't worry because right here we also have a nursery sound like we have a nurse stand by here waiting for you. If you're sick or anything, you can need that help right here. You can get that help from here, which is really helpful as well. And I need something here like peppermint smell. So once again, as you can see, there are a nurse ready here. Oh my God. And the red materials of fabric here actually used to be because of monks were actually putting them here to be the sign and symbol of the end of the territory of the sacred Khao Kichakut. So that's why they were putting it here and also to prevent danger that people might fall down the hill. But later on, Thai people believe that if you come here and write down your witches and praying here on this red cloth and red fabrics here, your wishes will come true. The fact that Buddha's footprints are the stone here, that means the Buddha was here, is real or not, doesn't matter than the fact that Thai people believe in and have a lot of faith into this. And they pay a lot of respect, like related to the Buddha was standing in front of them. And this is a good sign that you can see that Thai people believe in and have a lot of faith into our Buddhism religions as well. And you can see this nowadays. And this is Thailand at last. Me, Mungkin Hagar, we have to say goodbye for today. สวัสดีค่ะค่ะพระคาวะโตอะระโตสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะเอาเป็นรับประทานเป็นยากันนะครับทุกท่านทุกคนค่ะอาหารที่ราบรองอาหารที่รา